How's it going boys, TKC here. These are stream highlights from our weekly streams that we do where we listen to brand new music every week. So if you're watching this and you appreciate what you see, I would love to see you in the chat sometime. But in the meantime, enjoy the video. Peace. We have got, again, the third time we're saying this. We have got another first single off an album. This time it's William Black. We did the Crystal Skies first single. We did the first Midnight Kids single. We have got the first William Black single. Um, I want to pull up a tweet from William Black before we get started. Um, as we've mentioned before on the channel, I think William Black is good. Um, a lot of the times I leave... William Black songs thinking production here is so great. I just want a little bit more from that idea. That's generally the feel that I always end up leaving William Black tunes with. Um, as I mentioned, as I quote from William Black, the new album has melodic bass, house, drum and bass, and dubstep. Um, so yeah, the one thing that I feel is sorely lacking from William Black songs at times is innovation and ideas. So the idea that we're going to be getting a little bit of innovation on this album, um, I'm super, I'm super stoked to see what we're going to get. So that tweet alone raised my expectations, but it also made me more excited for the album. So <laughs> yeah, we've got last forever, William Black, Jordan Shaw, Let's get into it. First single off the album. Okay, a little bit more bungee. We're hanging off the edge and we go down. We go down in flames. Okay, not too bad so far. Fantastic vocal. All right. All right, let's see what we get. Nice sort of automations in there. It does definitely feel very William Black. All right, I mean, again, production wise, very nice. Ideas wise, <laughs> feels very William Black. Um, just could benefit from a little bit more um, uh, innovation in that idea. It is a very nice vocal though. Oh, nice chat. Okay, that adds a ton. Keep the chat in that draw. Yeah, it's in the back there. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to think about that one. Initially on first thought, like, I think what I had mentioned before about William Black kind of stood true with this one. Um, and I, you know, I was going to be honest when I saw that tweet, I kind of expected that house or dubstep or whatever wasn't going to be the first single. It was probably going to be a more safe William Black style tune. Um... So, yeah, I, I understand with that first single, you kind of want to set the mood, get the fans familiar sort of thing. Um, Production-wise, is definitely on point, though. Uh, drop sound design, very um, very full, um, you know, great percussion. Um, the electric guitars in the back during the verses add a ton. Fantastic vocal by Jordan Shaw. 
Let's add that to chance in that second build, added a ton in, and then in the back of that second drop, kind of elevated that idea, added something to differentiate it from drop one, which you know, you guys have watched this channel for God knows how long. You guys know I'm a sucker for differentiation between drops, even if it's very minor, I always dig it. So, um, but yeah, again, I think, as mentioned before, I think the big thing holding that one back for me just a little bit is probably drop idea. Um, just it feels very um, similar to kind of what we've got from William Black throughout the years. Um, just that sort of chill, trappy. Well, I mean, trappy throughout the percussion with the percussion through the verses and stuff like that. So we didn't really get that trappy sort of feel in the verses. But um, yeah, more of the sort of chill, laid back melodic sound that he likes to go for a lot. Um so yeah, again, like I mentioned before, quality is absolutely on point. I think the big thing just holding that one back is just, a, I, it could have benefited from just a little bit more innovation from the idea, a little bit more, um, maybe just like, you know, uh, like a sort of lead in there, I think would have definitely been beneficial. A little bit more um, elements of electric guitar throughout the the drop as well. Could have done a ton for that one. Um yeah, like Saruman said, ideas kind of just fallen just a little flat for me. Um, but I think the big thing is, though, is that the production for William Black, for me personally, is always there. So the idea that we're going to get some innovation on the later singles doesn't really hurt. This this track for me doesn't really lower my expectations per se. I had a feeling I, I, I was pretty sure we were going to get some some melodic bass tunes like this on the album. So um, I think that's just going to get like a flat seven for me. I think we're going to get the poll going here. Um, but yeah, I think a flat seven seems pretty fair. Yeah. Oh, I also want to mention the automations in the drop definitely played a part. Lots of there were elements of side chain that uh, had some some moments of silence in the drop, which I always love. Love mid is going to be the rating from chat. Um, kind of expected that. I wasn't going to lie. Um just from that. But overall, I think for me, I'd give it a seven. I'd say it's probably good. Um, but I think that's just because William Black's production, his mixes are very loud, which is one thing I've mentioned before I love. So <laughs> um, that'll always that'll always sell an idea for me. Um, but yeah, that's that.